everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make this woodland deer glasses pouch so for this pouch you're going to need five different colors of double knit yarn i'm using lilac for the main color and then for the deer i'm using light brown white and black and then for the tie ribbons i'm going to be using a dark green you'll also need a three millimeter hook a sewing needle some scissors and a thread with a small needle. So we're going to start with the main part of the glasses case which is the orange section so I'm going to take my main colour and make a slip knot. And then I'm going to make a chain of 16. round one I'm firstly going to make one double crochet into the third back bump from the hook so I'm just counting the first two chains and then in the third back bump of the third chain I'm going to make a double crochet And then I'm going to make one double crochet into each back bump across the row and I'm going to be stopping at the very last back bump because in that back bump I'm going to be making two double crochet in that back bump. And as you can see here I'm making two double crochet in this back bump. I'm now going to continue to make one double crochet into each stitch on the opposite side and then once I reach the very last stitch of that row I'm going to be making two double crochet into that stitch. then two double crochet into the very last stitch. To finish the round I'm then going to make a slip stitch into the very first double crochet we made so we're ignoring that chain two. And then that is the end of round one, you should have 32 stitches at the end of this round. For round two, you want to chain two and make one double crochet into that exact same spot. And then you're going to make one double crochet into the next 15 stitches. I'm then going to make two double crochet into the 16th stitch and then one double crochet into the next 15 stitches. And then into the very last stitch I'm going to be making two double crochet so that's that should be the 32nd stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet that we made so this is what it should be looking like after you've done your two rounds and for round three this is the round that we're going to continue throughout the rest of the glasses case so you're going to chain two as normal and make a double crochet into that same spot and now we're just going to make one double crochet into each stitch around so there's no increases in this row so you should have 34 double crochets by the end of the row now we're going 
going to slip stitch as normal to the first double crochet that we made and that is the end of row three and I'm going to repeat row th round three until I have 15 rounds in total so for the frill edges you're just going to continue on from where you finished round 15 so I'm just going to chain one and make three half double crochet stitches into the same stitch and then in the next stitch I'm just going to make one half double crochet and this is the sequence you repeat all the way around so you'll make three half double crochet in the first stitch and one half double crochet into the next stitch three half double crochet and then one half double crochet so I'm going to repeat this all the way around and then once I have finished the round I'm going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet just as we've been doing as not Now for round two, we're going to chain one. And we're going to do something slightly different. So we're going to make three single crochet into the first stitch, but it's going to be all in the back loop only. So each stitch will only be in the back loop. So three single crochet into the same stitch. And then into the next stitch, I'm doing one single crochet in that back loop. And then I'm repeating that all the way around. So three single crochet in the back loop and then one single crochet in the back loop. And then I am just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made to close the round. Now I'm just going to fasten off, so just chaining one and then cutting the yarn. And then I'm going to sew in the ends with my sewing needle. Just weaving this all on the inside of the bag pouch of the frills. Now we're going to make the deer head, so I'm going to start by making a double magic ring. So I'm just winding the string around my two inner middle fingers and then I'm grabbing the hook and I am placing the hook under those two loops and picking up that back, very back um, string at the back and then I'm chaining one like that. And then I just drop all the loops and I pull out that small string. And then I'm going to make six single crochet into the ring. Then I'm going to close the ring. So I do this by pulling the string and you should see that one of the loops closes and you, that's the loop that you want to pull to close the other loop. So you want to pull that one first and then you pull the string to close the loop entirely. And then that is your ring all closed. So for round two, I'm going to make two single crochet into each stitch around, which will leave us with 12 stitches by the end of the round.
just placing a stitch mark here to make it easier. So for round three, I'm going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And I'm repeating this all the way around. So one single crochet and then two single crochet. And by the end of the row, you should have 18 stitches. Once I finish round three, I'm then just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And then that is the deer head finished. So for the ears, I'm going to make a slip knot. And then I'm going to attach it three spaces back from the slip stitch that we made to finish the round. And if you're right handed then you're going to be counting three spaces back from the right. So I'm going to chain four. And then I'm going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then I'm going to make one half double crochet into the next chain. And then a double crochet into the next chain. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into that next stitch. And then you're just going to want to repeat this again. So chain four. Make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Then make a half double crochet into the next chain. And then a double crochet into the next chain slip stitch into the next stitch I'm now going to fasten off ends off as well and then I'm just going to sew in the ends with my sewing needle. I'm going to sew these to the back of the deer head. For the neck, I'm going to make a slip knot and then attach that slip knot eight spaces before the first ear that we made. So I'm kind of turning the head upside down because I'm going to be crocheting towards the direction of the first ear. So I'm going to attach that slip knot and then just chain one to attach it. And then I'm also going to make a slip knot with the white so that I'm ready to make that colour change um, in the next few stitches. So I'm going to make one single crochet with the brown and then before I finish that single crochet I'm going to finish with the white yarn. So I'm going to attach that and then pull that through both loops. And then I'm going to make my next two single crochets with the white. And before I finish the second single crochet I'm going to change back to brown. So you can see me there swapping the colours. I'm going to swap back to brown. And then the last single crochet is just a brown, um, but no colour change there because we've reached the end of the row. And then for row two, I'm going to chain one and turn the work. And then I'm going to make two single crochet in the same stitch with the brown. I'm going to weave in the ends as I go. And in the second single crochet, I will be changing back to white. So you can see me there swapping the colours for the second single crochet, picking up the white and then pulling through both loops with the white. And then I'm going to make two single crochet with the white. So it's not an increase, just just single crochet in the next two stitches. And that second stitch, I am swapping back to brown. And then I'm going to make two single crochet in the same stitch with the brown, so that's an increase. And no colour change there because that's the end of the row. And 
then for row three, I'm going to chain one and turn the work. And I'm going to make two single crochet with the brown. So just one in the next two stitches. And in the second stitch, I will be changing back to white. And then in the next single crochet stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet with the white. And then in the next, another single crochet, and I'm going to change back to brown. So there's no increases for this row. And then in the next two stitches, it's just one single crochet and no color change. And then I just fastened off. then I'm just going to sew a eye patch to the face so I basically just took some white yarn and knotted one end and then I went from the back of the deer head um, and pulled through to the front and then I just made this diagonal line um, across the face and then I just kept repeating over and over again sewing in that exact same spot in that diagonal line um, and then eventually this builds up the thickness um, for the eye patch so I just continued to do that basically until I was happy with the thickness. And then I just brought the yarn back to the back of the head and then weaved in those ends and just tucked them away. And then I just repeated the basically the same method for the ear patch. I just brought the yarn um, with the sewing needle through from the back to the front and then I just went over the same spot over and over again until I was happy with the thickness. And then I just brought it back to the back of the head and then weaved in those ends. And then for the eye I just got some of the black yarn and made a knot at one end and then I brought the yarn through from the back to the front and then kind of with the same method I just did a few, um, sewed in, into the same spot a few more times um, to make the thickness of the eye and then when I was happy with it I just weaved in the ends at the back and I cut the yarn and then for the nose it was kind of a similar process but I wrapped the yarn around the side of the face so actually around the single crochet um, and I just kept doing this over and over again until I was happy with how the nose was looking and then I just weaved it back into the back of the head and then cut the yarn and then with the brown tail that we have, I just sewed the ends of that in to the back of the body and then cut the yarn. And then with the needle and thread, um, I just tied a knot at one end of the thread and then I just pinned the deer to the glasses pouch and then just was sewing around the edge of the deer, um, making sure not to get the inside caught. Um, and for the tie ribbons, I just made a slip knot and a chain of 80. And then I just cut the yarn. And then I just weaved one side of the ribbon into a space from row one where we did the ruffles so I basically um, placed it around the front 
and then I weaved the ribbon around row one um, and I basically spaced it between every second single crochet so remember we had the three half double crochet and then a single crochet so I basically spaced it between every second single crochet so a half three half double crochet and then a single crochet a half double crochet and then a single crochet and then directly after that single crochet that's where I put the, the ribbon ties I hope that makes sense And then I just continued this all the way around and then that's pretty much the glasses patch all done. So this is what the final result looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, I'd love to see your creations of this. Um, please tag me on Instagram or on TikTok and if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to make next feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will see you in the next one bye guys